Hi and welcome, I'm Julianne Cost. In addition to grid and loop views, we can view multiple images in Lightroom Classic using compare and survey views. Let me select these first 10 images and then we can enter a compare view by either clicking on this XY icon or by tapping on the C key. On the left hand side is our select and on the right hand side is the candidate. In the film strip, you'll notice that there is a white diamond for the select image and a black diamond for the candidate. Now the goal is to promote the best image of the series to the select on the left hand side. If we want a little bit more space, we can tap the tab key, which will hide the panels. If I like the select better than the candidate, then I'll click on the arrow in the toolbar in order to move to the next image that I have selected in the film strip. We can see that the black diamond also moves to this third image. I'll go ahead and move to the next image. And if I like this image better, I can click on this icon right here in order to promote my candidate to the select, or I can use the up arrow key on my keyboard. If I want to zoom in on an image, all I need to do is click. If I want to pan, I can click and drag, and you'll notice that both the select and the candidate pan together. If I want to unlock this, I can click on the lock icon, and now I can click and drag each one of the images independently of one another. I'll go ahead and lock that. And if you just want to temporarily turn off the lock, you can hold down the shift key to override it. If we want to change the zoom percentage, I can tap the tab key again, and let's select 50% instead of 100%. Then I'll tap the tab key again, and now we can see more of the bear. I'll hold down the shift key and just reposition the image on the right. All right, let's click again to zoom out. And I want to promote this image, so I'll use the up arrow key. I prefer the positioning of the body in this image, so I'll use the right arrow, or we can click on the icon here in order to continue moving through the series. When I get to the last image, I prefer this one, so I'll go ahead and use the up arrow and it will promote it. Excellent, in order to give this image a pick flag, I'm going to want to click on this side in order to target it because we can see that the white outline is actually on the candidate. So I'll just click once and then tap the P key. Then I can tap the G key to return to grid. I'll tap the tab key in order to bring back the panels and next, let's take a look at survey mode. I'm gonna scroll down almost to the bottom here, and then I'm going to select another series of images, starting with this image and ending with this image. I'll enter survey view by either clicking on this icon here or tapping the N key. So in this case, I want to look at a number of images to see if the images work together in a series. When you position your cursor over any of the images, you'll see an X appear. If you want to remove this image from your selection, simply click on the X. Then I have two images that are very similar to one another. I want to keep the first image selected, but then deselect the second image. I also don't think I need this last image, so I could select it. You can see that it's got a slight gray outline around it, and then I can tap the backslash key in order to remove it from my selection. Then I think that these two images are quite similar. If I want to see them full screen, I can just double click. I can see that his eyes are closed here. I'll use the right arrow to move to the next image where his eyes are open. So I'll return to survey by either tapping the N key or clicking on the icon and remove the image where his eyes are closed. I'll also remove this image and this image right here. So we're down to nine images. If I ever wanted to bring back an image into survey view, I could hold down the command key on Mac, the control key on Windows, and select the image from the film strip. And then to remove an image again, just click on the X. Now in this series of images, it might not make sense, but you can also drag and drop to reorder images in survey view, as long as they're in a folder that doesn't have a subfolder. Now, if I wanted to add a star rating to all of these images, then I would want to get out of survey mode. Right now we can see that this image is targeted. If I tap the two key, it's only going to mark this image with the two stars. So instead I'd wanna tap the G key. All of the images are still selected. So I would tap two and because we're in grid view, all of the images that were still selected would get the two stars. 
Excellent. I think you can see how compare and survey views can help us quickly narrow down a shoot to just our best photographs. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.